Hello everyone, welcome back to Masa Military. The latest Taige class diesel electric submarine, the Raige, was launched on October 17, 2023, in Japan. The Raige features upgrades to its power and operational management systems, making it the most powerful underwater hunter in the Japanese Maritime Self Defense Force. In mid December 2023, Kawasaki Heavy Industries revealed its 2030 vision report, mentioning ongoing advanced submarine technology research projects with the Ministry of Defense. These technologies might be applied to new submarines following the Taige class. A significant focus is on incorporating long range anti ship and land attack capabilities, with the installation of vertical launch systems for deploying long-range cruise missiles in the submarine's bow. The recently launched Raige is the fourth submarine of the Taige class, with a displacement exceeding 3,000 tons, a length of 275 feet 7 inches, a width of 29 feet 10 inches, and a crew of 70 people. The construction cost is 70.2 billion yen, or 470 million US dollars. The Taige class is one of the largest conventional submarines globally, with two in service, two launched, and two under construction. A total of eight are planned to replace the Oyashio class. The Taige class submarine utilizes a power system combining diesel generators with high capacity lithium ion batteries, providing excellent underwater maneuverability. To enhance underwater endurance, Japan's current Oyashio class and Soryu class submarines use air independent propulsion Stirling engines imported from Sweden. However, Japan discovered after actual use that the Stirling engine has limited power and is not suitable for large submarines. There are currently three main categories of air independent propulsion or AIP technology, closed cycle diesel engines, Stirling engines, and fuel cells. Among them, the Stirling engine technology is the most mature and the cost is relatively low, but it has moving parts. The fuel cell converts chemical energy directly into electrical energy and has the highest efficiency, has almost no moving parts, and has very little noise, but the technology is not yet mature and the cost is very high. At present, Germany's fuel cell technology for submarines is relatively mature, and hydrogen fuel cells have been used on Type 212, 216, and 218 SG submarines. However, the specific power of fuel cells is still relatively low, and the cost of construction and maintenance is also very high. Among the comparisons of various solutions, the increasingly mature solution of diesel generators paired with lithium-ion batteries has recently emerged. Lithium-ion batteries have many advantages, including fast charging and discharging, high battery energy density, they can be made into any shape, are easy to lay, and can make full use of the limited space inside the submarine. Therefore, starting from the last two Soryu class submarines, the JMS DF began to try to use large capacity lithium batteries to provide underwater power. After using lithium batteries, the Taige maximum underwater speed can reach 20 knots, which is far faster than using Stirling engines. The lithium ion batteries used in Japanese submarines are developed by GS Yuasa, headquartered in Kyoto, offering three times higher energy density than traditional lead acid batteries, resulting in significantly extended underwater endurance. The Raige also features an upgraded diesel generator, incorporating Kawasaki Heavy Industries' new 2531 type diesel generator, known to drastically reduce battery charging time. Lithium ion batteries have no memory effect and do not need to follow strict battery charging and discharging requirements to extend their life. Submarines can be charged and discharged at any time according to mission needs and battlefield environment, which effectively improves the submarine's combat flexibility. The Taige class can submerge at a speed of 20 knots for a long time, which is already considered the best among conventional submarines, giving diesel electric submarines unprecedented high speed underwater maneuverability. Lithium ion batteries also have advantages when it comes to battery maintenance and lifespan. In order to maintain the storage performance of lead acid batteries, a large number of charging and discharging operations must be performed regularly during parking. Even so, submarines using lead acid batteries still need to replace the main battery every four years. Lithium ion batteries are not only simple to maintain, but also only need to be replaced once during the approximately 22 year lifespan of a Japanese submarine. Of course, if lithium-ion batteries are so easy to use, why are they only being used on ships now? 
mainly because lithium-ion batteries tend to overheat, become unstable, and even catch fire and explode when charged and discharged at high speeds. Another disadvantage is that the price is relatively high. The whole design of the Taige class is quite similar to that of previous generation Soryu class, also using a cigar-shaped hull and an X-shaped tail rudder. The advantage of using an X-tail rudder is that even if one rudder surface is damaged, it will not affect sailing control and has better control redundancy. In addition, the tail rudder is not easily damaged when sitting on the bottom or docking. The Taige class uses the ZQQ-8 integrated high-performance sonar system, which consists of a bow array, a hull side array, a stern towed array, and an anti-detection array mounted above the bow. The Soryu class started using non-penetrating periscopes, but with the Soryu class still retains a traditional optical periscope, while the Taige class changed both periscopes to non-penetrating periscopes. The advantage of using a non-penetrating periscope is that there is no need to drill a hole in the pressure shell to allow the periscope to pass into the control room, which can avoid weakening the structural strength. In addition, the control room configuration does not need to be under the sail cover, and the internal design freedom is relatively high. In terms of noise reduction, the Taige class adopts a floating deck structure for the first time compared to advanced European and American submarines. There is a buffer device between the inner deck and the outer shell to reduce noise and improve impact resistance, and the submarine is equipped with anechoic tiles on the outside, which is said to reduce the enemy's active sonar detection distance by 50%. In terms of weapons, the Taige class 533mm torpedo launch tubes are concentrated on the upper part of the bow in a pattern of two above and four below. In addition to being able to launch Type 89 torpedoes, it can also use the latest Type 18 torpedoes and Harpoon Block 2 missiles. The Harpoon missiles have a range of about 136 miles and also have the ability to attack land. The Type 18 torpedo is equipped with an acoustic image sensor, which can enhance the ability to identify anti-torpedo decoys and can also detect and attack targets in coastal and shallow sea areas with complex acoustic environments. Okay, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support Masa Military. See you next time.